Hey, 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 good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for the last trading day in February, February 28th, 2019. So, my goodness, we had quite a day of political news um, yesterday with the Cohen hearing that really turned out to be nothing more than a um, at least I didn't watch it, but at least from um, uh, what I see in headlines uh, turned out m more to be a political grandstanding event than anything else. Um, I don't, I'm not sure anything was accomplished. Um, and then, um, sometime during the evening, um, we had an abrupt end to the U S China or excuse me, U S Korean summit with no deal. According to the news, apparently what happened is uh, Korea was de demanding um, an end to sanctions um, and a slow, a very slow uh, move on their nuclear um, ambitions. And um, that was just kind of an impasse point, I guess. And so nothing um, happened there. Consequently, Asian markets um, saw lower across the board closes yesterday um, or overnight. Uh, European markets are currently lower across the board. And U.S. futures are pointing to a very modest decline this morning. Nothing major here at all. So let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. Let's try to put all this new stuff aside and see what's going on here in the chart. If we take a look at this, we can still see that trend overall in the chart is just pretty darn strong. Um, there is no evidence here as of yet that we are ready to fail. Now, of course, we do have a, you know a little tip below there, but it all depends on how you draw the trend line. Um, whether that's a, a major issue or not. So you can see we're holding up here quite well, which means the bulls are still in control of the trend. If we take a look at the resistance levels, you can see we pushed back down below that resistance and we still have this resistance level above. The bears are still working to defend those resistance levels. So really what we've got here is a situation where the market itself Itself, the price action of the market is kind of stuck right here between this rock and this hard place. Um, neither side wants to give in just yet. Now, is it possible that we could end up slipping into more of a consolidation? And I think that's very possible. And, and honestly, I would say that would be a very healthy thing for the market to do, whether you know the market can do that or not during earnings season or anything, I don't know. But if we were to slip into a consolidation that just kind of ranged around in this area uh, for, you know, uh, the rest of the week, um, even next week, that would actually be a very strong sign for the market that we could hold in here after such an extraordinary run. So uh, I'm not s s trying to predict that's what's going to occur. What I would say is if that does occur, there's still going to be some really good trading out there for stock pickers because during consolidations, if you remember back here in 2017, when we were just moving, 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 we had really long consolidations, consolidations that last lasted almost two months. But uh, there was still great trading during that period of time for those stock pickers that um, really pay attention to those stocks that are carrying through with momentum. So we'll want to watch that if that does occur. However, if the bears do take over here, and, and there's certainly no clue to that just yet, but if the bears were to take over, we would want to start uh, scoping out the support levels below, perhaps right in this little area, there's a little support level. There's also so some uh, stronger level of support right down here. So we'd want to start scoping out those support levels for uh, that place where we could catch, uh, catch those buyers maybe stepping back in. So watch that close. Now, if the bulls do fire up, we're going to want to watch these resistance levels. If we start to break through those resistance levels, hey, uh, look for an attack. If we can break through this resistance level, look for an attack of all-time highs here in the Dow.
that would honestly be a very big surprise to me considering the fact that we're starting to see a slowdown in in housing and retail and all those things but you know anything is possible in a market like this when there's just a tenacious group of bulls wanting to see the market higher so can I um, you know, stay focused on price action. Try not to predict. Let's just watch and see what's going to happen here and be rea ready to react uh, based on whatever circumstance happens. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also holding up quite well and actually managed to pull out a little bit of a white candle here yesterday, um, rallying back up. Um, below that gap down and holding up pretty strongly. Now, let's keep in mind, we have a little bit more of a challenge here on the SPY. And the reason is, is we have this triple top resistance. So this is going to take some effort, some significant effort to push through. Um, is that possible? It, most certainly is particularly around earnings season and things like that so we'll want to keep an eye on that if we continue to push up and retest up here once again if those bears do happen to gain the upper hand we'll want to watch the support levels down in here for those next uh those places where we might catch that support and see buyers step back in to hold the market Let's take a look at the Q's. Q's looking uh, strong as well, pushing up strongly yesterday, just refusing uh, to go down. And we're testing once again this resistance level right here in the Q's, trying to hang in there on that resistance level, just holding on with everything that they've got, trying to hold up in here. Keep in mind, we have resistance levels above that could still be rejected. So remember, we've got bears up here fighting and we've got bulls down here fighting and we're just locked in this really tight range trying to figure out which side of this is going to break down first let's take a look at iwm iwm also rallying back up yesterday after its morning gap down rallying back up to test this resistance right in here We'll have to see if that can hold. And remember this morning, we're looking at just a modest, a modest move down in the indexes. Um, as a matter of fact, at this moment, uh, Dow futures are only down 19 points. They were down 40 or 50 points earlier. Um, we had some good, good earnings out of JCPenney and that seems to have inspired um, uh, the markets this morning. And we seem to have ignored the, the, the bad earnings last night from um, SQ and Box and things like that. So we're choosing to push higher no matter what goes on here. So we'll want to watch those resistance levels here in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX yesterday, we rallied right into that resistance that I talked about, that price resistance in the VIX, and that ended up holding on um, the entire day. We pushed up there and put and, and those bulls stepped in, pushing that back down. So we'll want to watch this closely today. If those bulls continue to push the markets higher, we should see this drift lower. If we start seeing some um, VIX buying coming on in here, we'll want to watch this level right here. Um, again, breaking that level won't be the big deal. If we break that level and hold it as support and then see buyers coming in, that will be the big deal and we'll have some trouble in the market. So we want to see this continue to drift on down toward this level of support. I do think there may be just a little bit of complacency going on in the market, so we'll want to be careful with that. Let's take a look at T2122. It's at four week new high, new low ratio. The good news is, is that we have pulled back here. That gives us opportunity for more bullish move to the upside. So with that pullback in there, it's just opened up that window where there may be some space for us to move higher. Please keep in mind though, that there is significant space to move to the downside if those bears were to happen to uh, to click in there. So we have a little bit better circumstance here with that opportunity to push up and we could get just a little bit more of that volatility push, either upside or downside now that we've opened up that window just a little bit. Let's take a look at 
what's going on in the economic calendar today. Economic calendar could be a, um, a well, a key item this morning. At 8.30 this morning, of course, we get our normal jobless claims on Thursday morning, but the big key thing would probably be the GDP. If the GDP holds up nice and strong, if that number comes in healthy, um, we might see this market just rip higher. If it happens to come in weak, um, could be could be a stumbling block for the market. So watch that close. Remember, we have several Fed speakers on the calendar today. Um, as you can see, all throughout the day, we have Fed speakers coming in here. We also have that Chicago PMI um, natural gas report um, here, 945 and 1030. I wouldn't expect those to move the market around at all. And the Fed balance sheet down here um, can sometimes um, provide a little uh, movement in the market. But um, I wouldn't expect much of anything uh, from that. And then remember, we have some big numbers um, over here on Friday coming in as well. So lots going on here on the on the economic calendar. So keep that in mind and really watch that um, GDP report this morning. Could move us significantly depending on how those results come out. On the earnings calendar today, over 280 companies reporting earnings today. Lots of energy. In, um, in these earnings right now. If we look at JCP, JCP reported um, a beat on their earnings and they're moving up. Now, for some reason, the market has responded very, very bullishly to that this morning. Um, kind of surprising me, to tell you the truth. Um, but um, we're seeming to ignore Box. Box reported, had this beautiful entry signal here yesterday on Box. That's just a beautiful uh, price pattern in that trade. Nice little cup and handle type pattern in here and uh, beautiful buy signal here and that's what can happen to you on earnings. So be really careful around these earnings events. Make sure you're checking um, those earnings um, every single time you enter a trade, making sure to avoid those earnings events as often as possible because my goodness, that could be devastating. And we saw kind of the same thing in in um, um, Weight Watchers yesterday, just a massive collapse after um, um, earnings. So keep that in mind and make sure you respect those earnings events and uh, plan carefully around them however you're planning to trade. Let's take, um, take a look at what happened in SQ. SQ is a stock that I keep following and I also had a nice entry signal here yesterday breaking through resistance, but that's also gapping down this morning. So some of those techs may be struggling here this morning just a little bit uh, because of those um, disappointments and those earnings. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome for doing that. Thank you so much for those of you who take the time to do that. And also, I just want to I, I want to shout out to all of those folks. I, I looked at the channel anal analytics yesterday, and you know, nearly half of the people watching um, this video um, are not subscribed. Could you please do me a favor? Um, you know, support the channel and support this effort by clicking that sub subscribe button. That really does help me out a lot, you guys. Thank you for those who do and are willing to step up and do that. And, and it just shows an appreciation for the effort uh, that um, I commit every single day getting up every morning to put these videos together and get them out to you. So please, please share in that and, and, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for those who do. Um, also, by the way, always feel free to share this video with any friends and family, you know, post it on Facebook, post it on Twitter, post it anywhere you want. Um, we want to reach as many people as possible with this preparation video. Everyone, thank you very much who has done that. And I truly, truly appreciate you guys. You're the best. So with that, hey, let's take a look at some stocks that could be perking up and, and might be something for your watch list. Um, Intel really started to show um, some uh, 
some movement here um, a couple of weeks ago, moving up through this resistance area. And I think it's up a little bit far. It might be just a tiny bit stretched, but as you can see, Intel right here, nice bullish candle yesterday showing some strength. And we may see Intel move right on up here to test this level of resistance right here. So Intel might be one that you want to keep an eye on. Um, I, I really like this chart in LMT. LMT, um, nice little trend and a beautiful tight consolidation here over toward its trend looking really really good a breakthrough this right here is an alert for me a breakthrough there um, could easily set up that really nice um, upside trade so you might want to keep an eye on that chart looking really really good here WDC WDC had a disappointing day yesterday but WDC still hanging into this trend area if it can catch some support in here we may have an opportunity in that chart uh, to move that higher guys you might want to take a look at some of the um, financials out there some of the financials looking pretty good take a look at like um, SCHW SCHW Schwab here um, this little downtrend that's going on here after breaking through this resistance has a really nice overall pattern in this chart that big inverted head and shoulders pattern showing up in here so we might want to watch and see if that can pop through this area and um, show us um, a, you know just that good opportunity of moving higher here we'll want to keep an eye on that take a look at uh, charts like payx payx a beautiful move up just a strong strong trend broke through the all-time high resistance up here and notice we consolidated over just a little bit and buyer stepping into this yesterday. It doesn't look like PAYX is quite finished yet and that stock wants to go higher. Keep an eye on stocks like UPS. UPS, nice little trend, nice little consolidation going on here. Watch for that potential pop and a move up here to test these, uh, these next resistance levels. So there are very good charts out there, charts that continue to show signs of positive movement so keep an eye on these charts lots of them out there to pay attention to so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day if if you're struggling as a trader believe me you're not alone there's a lot of folks out there that have been struggling um, um, and I, I want everyone to to never give up. Don't give up on that dream of, of trading and, and, and maybe even being becoming a full-time trader because because believe me, it's worth it. And and for a guy like me, an old carpenter, um, it took a lot of years for me to figure this out and it took an awful lot of effort. So don't give up on yourself. Dig in, study hard, and if there's anything we can do to help, we would love to chat with you and see if there's something we could do. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you great profits and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning, March 1st. Have a good one.